how does it feel to be a top 25? It, it's incredible just because I've been doing this for so long and I've been working with ISA for about two years. And in the grand scheme of things, that's not long. But throughout that time, I've really made some great connections. I met some incredible people, writers, members of ISA. And it warms my heart just because it's like I write screwed up horror movies. And then I found an audience that that enjoys it, and it's because of you guys. So it means a lot to me to be on this list. My younger self, I, I would say it, it's funny because I moved out to California as soon as I finished my master's in Syracuse. I was so sick of the cold, and I said, I'm gonna come out to California. Within a year of being in California, I got hit by a car. I used that money from getting hit by a car to make my first short film. $8,000 in insurance got pumped up to $60,000 that we could make something incredible. And so I first started small. I wrote shorts, and I wish I started a little bit earlier to write features, but I feel like if you're able to write a short in like a three-act block, and you can actually tell a great story, it's harder to do that than with 90 pages, because you want to care about these people. So I think I wish I told myself, well, I, I, it's hard, because my mom always said, I don't, I don't care if God's on TV, stop watching TV. I think as long as you're, you watch TV, you read books, you read screenplays. I wish I read more screenplays. I think that's where it's going. I wish I read more screenplays. Uh, in college, I was broadcast journalism because I wanted to be the next Howard Stern. And then I decided, screw it, I'm gonna do TV film because I love horror movies so much. So I wish I educated myself more on that, but I never gave myself a full education on that. I just read a lot when I moved out here. And so I think if you're a younger person and you wanna be a screenwriter, just freaking write. I don't care if it's a soliloquy, I don't care if it's a poem. Just write because if you're not creating, you're not living. So uh, I, I would say for my younger self, definitely it, sh it should have been you know honing on what you love. I love horror movies. I should have been outlining horror scripts or just creating log lines just to have that library. And so it took me until, I'm not gonna date myself, I'm like gonna be 36 next month. But at this point I've got nine feature films, two TV series, and I've got a whole list of log lines that I wanna write. So I think it's just all about just being prepared and just knowing what what pushes you? By the end of this year, I am hoping, whether it's gonna be selling, optioning, being in a writer's room, I just wanna truthfully just be able to do what brought me out to California from New Jersey. I wanna be living in a horrific existence in my movies with people being killed, people surviving and struggling, but I wanna tell awesome stories and I want other people to hear them. Because the easiest thing is this, I've got friends who are musicians and they can say, yo, check out my three minute song. And you're like, oh man, that three minute song was really good. And they're like, hey, check out my 90 page script. Do you wanna do this tonight? And they're like, nah, I wanna go to the movies. I don't wanna read your script. I'm like, it's, it's so it's hard. So I, I feel like this last year, I was able to land on some incredible list between ISA, with tracking board, with incredible competitions, I landed a manager. I'm hoping that this is the year where I'm no longer an emerging writer. I hope this is the year where I am a working writer and I can hopefully bring the other emerging writers who I know who need that hand and I can bring them with me and we can do some really cool stuff.